Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a retouch on this Lauren Conrad picture, which was from sweetandtalented.com. I don't own the site, by the way, it's just the site for celebrity pictures. I will post a link in the sidebar. So, let's begin. On this picture, you can see that Lauren does have a few imperfections on her face as well as a red eye. So, we'll be fixing those throughout the tutorial. So, first, so you will go to um, Filter, Blur, Surface Blur, and put the radius on 4 and threshold on 7. And then press OK. Then you're going to go into the little sidebar and press on the healing tool, which is going to fix little bumps or imperfections on her face. So you can just go around on her face and click on any areas that need to be improved, such as right here on the nose or right around the mouth. You can make the brush as small as you need it to be, so it'll cover the whole imperfection and a little more. And zoom in and out as you need to. You can take as much time as you need on this process as it is very important. But when you are finished, you select all, then copy and paste. And then you can go into the layers and click on and set it to soft light. And then since that might be a little too burnt, I guess, you can change the path to 50%. After you finish with that, since most of the imperfections are gone, you can fix the red eye now. So you can go in and select the white and then a brush that would fit it, the size of the eye. And then you can go in and white out the eyes so you take out the red so they look awake and not as tired. Then you can go in and select the burn tool and go over the white just to make it a little more realistic. From there you can do a lot of extra things such as darken up her makeup or add in a little other colors and such. Like I chose to add in some more eyeliner so I picked the color black and a small brush and I just went over the eye a little bit which you can do the same if you want to. From there, you can take the eyedropper tool and sample her lip color, and then go into the colors and darken it up a little bit. And then you can take a smaller brush than her actual lips and go around and darken up her lips and make them a little more redder or pinker. Then you can take a white color and a bigger brush and go in with lower opacity and whiten up her teeth a little bit. And there you have it. So now the picture is all complete. Here is the before picture. And now here is the after picture. As you can see we've done a lot of improvement to it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed.